Get a pop in there. Yes. Welcome to Atlanta where the people <laughs> eat, baby. <laughs> That's right. We've got Candy Burris. Yeah. Hello. Good morning. Chef David Rose. What up? Hello. Jermaine Dupree. What up? We're going to talk to you guys here this morning. I had to really bring you down to my southern roots to my restaurant, the Old Lady Gang Southern Eatery. The fried deviled eggs are amazing. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like. Oh, it's too far. I mean. <laughs> like they want it cropped in or this it could be here. Right. I can crop it in with the edit. I just need to you need to be Oh, closer. what am I? I'm looking at that camera, not your camera. Yeah, you me? gotta be closer to the wall though. Hello. Hey, I was on the wrong link. Oh, you did take some of your makeup off. <laughs> no, it's just <laughs> the day is passing by. What is oh, okay. Wrong? Mm -hmm. What is this wrong? It's a nurse who she's tatted up. She's like you could tell her past life. She was. Is she bitchy? or she's just yeah. tomboyish? No, she's. It says she has a buzz cut. Um, so could you put your hair back in a ponytail? Because it's so pretty down. You looked, and I would take the earrings out too. So what are you about to do now? First, I gotta get COVID tested for the escape show. Then I have a meeting about some stu stuff for my group. Then I have a session with Jazzy Faye. Um, yeah, and that is all. Jazzy Fizzle. Jazzy Fizzle, Fizzle, Fizzle. Is Todd still here? Yeah. What's up, little girl? Hey. You know what happened when these two pinky in the brain in the studio? <laughs> I was looking for a white car. Good morning. This is so funny. This car don't never get driven. People be thinking that you had a new car. I'm freaking this shit. Oh, hot as shit. I thought it was gonna be cool a little bit. And then when I look at the forecast, I was like, oh my God, it's about to be one of them days. Sha, I didn't leave the studio to sick this morning. I am running on fumes, okay? If you need anything, Candy, just let it, Brian know and we'll get it for you, okay? Yes, yes. Thank you. I'm hungry. What, what, what we eating? Yeah. Happy birthday, oh, wow. I gotta say thank you for um, sitting in with for me. Oh man, appreciate you. I was up till six in the morning, guys. I didn't go to bed, <laughs> leave the studio until six a.m., and then I had to get up at nine a.m. to be back to do the interview day for oh, Escape ready. for the Escape Show, and that is why he had to do this. All right, so give me the give me give me the second. You're free, damn. Okay, I gotta go to work. Yes, you do. At the studio, at the place y'all filming. Can you play the song one time now? Yeah, like, I think that should be cool. Some way or another. You know what I mean? We could definitely play that. Yeah, I think that'd be hard. I mean, but, you know, you could say it. But yeah, so that was the only part I was thinking about switching up. Morning. Good morning. Yeah, but it, it was totally different. Yeah. Back in the day, when used to come up the escalator. Oh, you know, this whole building different now. Used to be in a, like, is it the court same and a food court. You know, they yeah. changed it. So that food court and is now. And the security now, man was down there. It's a whole thing. Like, it's, pol it's called Polish and Row now. They be having DJs and all types of stuff. It's totally different. 
Hey, you don't come up in my job looking what up, cute. Girl? What's up, y'all? I know who I was coming to see. I mean, Zay. Hey. What up, Gandhi? Good morning. Hey, Jamie. Ah. What's up? What's up, hot huh, stuff? I mean, she has to do it like that. Okay, the full beat. I'm so shy. Don't you be looking cute too, though. Her little outfit is cute. First of all, she always cute. It is cute. Exactly. I said, now she got on shorts. She got lashes off. Exactly. Because let me tell you, look, I don't have no makeup or nothing, y'all. My lashes off. All my outfits still in Paris. What? Yeah. They got stuck? Yes. They are on strike. So nobody can get their bags. Well, whatever you did, you got them lashes on. 712, shout out to boy Big Tigger, all Beyonce in the mix on the People Station, B103, the ATL's number one for hip hop and RB. Gerard J for Big Tig, Shamia Morton over there though. Hey, best friends. You got somebody hey. next to you right I now. Saw, though. You got I your girl saw, in the building. I got my baby mama in the building, y'all. Singer, songwriter, television personality, actress, reality TV star, business woman. Damn, the list goes on. Let me just tell you. I love me some candy. Hey, candy. Hey, hey candy girl. birds. What's happening? Candy birds. Tucker, but put Tucker on that name. Hey. Hey, good morning. How you feeling this morning? I'm feeling tired. Don't be tired. <laughs> I mean, you are a, a writer for Beyonce, and uh, writing's on the wall, and I mean, we well, can get first hand like, account hold on, hold on, of hold on, hold on. candy. I mean, let's be clear. I didn't write on this new album. Don't so matter. You don't can say you wrote for it. It don't matter. You can say you don't wrote for it. A lot of people can't say that. Comment with a preschool and bucket for my child. You know, she's so So I can rich. go look at. I need a preschool and bucket. Well, uh, well, that's near, that's you know. Funny. That's funny. I need a preschool and uh bucket. -huh. Well, right now she's over by the perimeter. Perimeter mall. And oh, right now she's far. over by the perimeter. It's the perimeter for me. <laughs> First of all, we talk about her kids going <laughs> to. Uh, 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 don't you I'm try. Not tell them they, uh, don't you really try. Dog. Um, they keep her kids going to a school where they speak in 500 languages by the time they turn to watch this right here this Like is, is good. you good. got some nerves darling at my child's school. They speak in one thing. Listen, okay, calm but, down I didn't go to bucket, but they know what the they need to do. It's the place for me <laughs> I'm saying bucket because I want to be close to my house because if you call me telling my baby That's why I'm sit, messing with I'm you. I'm coming right on next door, but I can't afford to send my child to a school where I was joking Mandarin and <laughs> And Portuguese and French. And I'm talking about Ace walk up to you and he's like, I'm like, uh, little nigga, if you don't get some easy, you know like, what's up, Shadi? You know what I'm talking about? Shy gonna be like, yeah, damn, we gonna be in the movie. No, oh, no, 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 Baby, my Buckhead. Mommy. First of all, she's talking about Buckhead. Buckhead is doing this now. Um, boom, so boom, boom, boom. <laughs> you can't go to Little Small without going through a damn. Uh, now, Buckhead is getting like the dirty yeah. south over there. Watch this. My bucket. I'm like, bitch, she bucket is good as hell right Buckhead now. Bucket turned to swat. <laughs> Baby, they've been calling in for candy. The phone lines won't stop blowing up, but I got to get my questions in before. I mean, <laughs> you know. Well, let's go. Let's kick as it off. As a former friend of Real Housewives of Atlanta, I, you know, I, I like the season. I'm excited about it. Um, mm -hmm. you, you're over halfway through the season so far. And halfway, they have yeah. really been, like, coming for you. I don't I was understand. Shocked. I don't like it. I was like, what is going on? It's so crazy because when we were actually filming, I did not realize that they were going in on me like that. Yeah, like, it's and it's crazy. some of the people that you really be going hard for, like Marlo. Like, it's you so crazy. Like, she and I really didn't have any words until later on. So it was like, for, to find out that earlier on in the season that she had been talking so much trash, I was so shocked. Yeah. I mean, it's, it, it's kind of crazy when you feel like you're cool with somebody and then you realize, oh, so... This how you do me? Okay, well, you know, we're going to get more into it because I definitely got to ask you about uh, your thoughts on, uh, well, this uh, Martell Holt and uh, Sheree bit. So y'all don't go no way. Ah, why you ask? Don't ask me. Do not ask. Hold she going to talk about it. Do not ask me. right here. You got more calls. You got questions Please for Please don't Bird ask Tucker. me. Call us up. 44741-WVEE. And that is 44741 Please don't ask me. 9833. All right, 830 right now. Let's go. Don't ask me what I think about that. Don't ask me I what am. I think about that. I want to keep my opinion to myself. We want to know. What you say, because, oh my God. Wow. It ain't happening on the show. Why would I speak about it on the show? I know, but that's why. That's why we want you to speak on it. Because it ain't on the show. It's, it's going to happen right here. Recently, Tyrone came up talking about how he didn't stand her up. She knew all about it, and she knew that he wasn't able to lead a house because he was on house arrest or whatever. So, that being said, now she's dating this other reality star. I'm like, uh... <laughs> 
Candy. Yes. You know I gotta ask you everything. I mean, I do the tea. Oh, That's what, what I do. Jesus. She's so mad at me, y'all. And I'm definitely gonna have to buy her breakfast. But I mean, Sheree is dating Martel Holt from Love and Marriage Huntsville. We so all I know hear. what he's giving and what he does. So what you thinking? Like, what's your thoughts on it? I don't wanna give my thoughts. Please. <laughs> Come on, come on, come on. What you think? In 15 words or less, how are you going to let your boss know what you are going to do? As we talk about this $1.025 billion available mm. tonight at the Mega Millions on the People Ooh. Station V103. Ooh, could you imagine somebody just, just... Can you imagine how just, nasty my walk Bam. Yeah. Right, do it, do it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We got... Oh, wait, 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 Okay, Shamir Morton is about to show you what her walk is. You're making too big. It's gonna be like, this is her walk. Don't look, don't look. my phone, it's frozen. Hey, hey, hey. That's how you gonna walk with me. And the host is standing there, I need a tape for two. Saving my billion dollars in my purse. He's crazy. What you got going on? Hello, everybody. I just stopped by to see our annual Candy Cares back to school give back. We're giving out school supplies to 500 families. Um, this is our like, I don't know, we partnered with the city of East Point multiple times because I am from, well, I'm from Atlanta. I mean, I was born in Atlanta, but I was raised in East Point, which is a, what they call the Metro Atlanta. <laughs> So that's why I wanted to do it with them. We come together to do this often. I use either one of their parks or facilities to navigate getting the people here to pick up their stuff. Well, I hope that everyone has an amazing school year for this next 2022 to 2023 school year. When you go up there, the young lady to the left is gonna ask you uh, gender. You just tell her if it's boys and girls, they're gonna put them in there. The snack packs are already in the book bag. Then you can go out.